I, I love dancing. But I had a moment where I said, maybe it's, it's not the right, the right direction for me. It's better that I just give up and just, you know, that's it. I come from a really small town in Sicily. Everybody know each other. All of my family work on the vineyards, but I knew as a little boy it was something different to everyone. So when I was five years old, I was home and, you know, I was watching TV, I was dancing, I was jumping on the couch, <laughs> and my mom saw me. She thought, oh, this is weird. I knew that I loved dancing. I could do that for all my life or work in the vineyard. There was this guy, every day, every day, he was making joke of me. Say, oh, you are dancing, you have long hair, you are like a girl. So one day I was going out from school, he slapped me from the back and said, oh, Graziano, yeah, are you going to dance like a lady? I said to him, maybe one day I will make it. Basically, my dad told me we cannot afford anymore because we need to pay for lesson, competition, transfer. And for me, it was like a punch in the face. I still remember how hard and that feeling that there was in the room when they told me, they told me that. Yeah, I said stop, I will not dance anymore. Maybe it's, it's not the right the right direction for me. It's better that I just give up and just, you know, that's it. But after a few weeks, I realized I need to dance. And I still remember, I went to my garage downstairs. I just put the music on and I started to dance alone. There was like no lights on, it was almost dark. And I started to dance alone just to, to have the feeling again. And I think there I realized that I cannot live without dancing. I started with a mom. She came for doing a lesson with me. She told me, yeah, I want to learn how to do how to cha-cha-cha. Oh, okay. I started with that mom. After one month and a half, I was full of people. and started to, you know, to achieve some goals, make some money, and with the same money, I started to do lessons. And since then, I never stopped. Teaching those people is the reason why I'm still dancing. I received an email from Stricky. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Everyone was crying in the room. I couldn't hear my dad crying, my mom crying. It was, was insane. I think it was the best moment of my life. Because there I realized I made it. All through my life, I had so many bad times. I thought, maybe I'm not good enough. If you really believe in what you do, wherever part of the world you are, if you want, you can make it.